Some clergymen in legal states have admonished Nigerians, especially Christians, to be selfless in their act towards others. The clerics have the clerics, after a procession to reenact the death of Jesus Christ, said if, if Nigerian leaders can put the country first, the nation will be a better place for all. The clergy who spoke with the news crew urged Christians to be faithful and allow the significance of the death of Christ to be seen in them. They said the celebration of the season of Easter begins with the reenactment of the Passion of Christ and his crucifixion, which is mostly performed by Christians from different denominations on a Good Friday. God, the Father, created us for a purpose. And the purpose is for us to know Him, to love Him, and to save Him in this life. And how do you, how do you save God? You save God in humanity. You save God in the way you relate with your brothers and your sisters. You save, save God in the way you do justice. You save God in the way you practice, you, 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 you practice common good. You work for common good and unity. You save God by living and allowing others to live, not by war, violence, or discrimination. With what we are passing through in Nigeria of recent, especially as a result of the last election, there's a lot of divisions, um, ethnic issues, tribal issues, and the rest. And I think for now, Jesus Christ came to die for all. And I think our leaders also should consider that and put everybody at heart, regardless of your tribe, regardless of ethnicity, they should understand that they are all human beings. The same blood flow in our vein. Speaking on the essence of the celebration, they said the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ is a fulfillment of his mission on earth. Without Good Friday, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we will we, we'll be perish. Without Good Friday, we won't have life. This is a day that we, we reenact, we remember, we relieve that passion experience that Jesus had more than 2,000 years ago, where freely and willingly, without being forced to do it, but out of the love he has for mankind and the willingness and readiness to do the will of his Father, he decided to come down and die for us. The whole essence of Easter is that Jesus died for our sin. We are all a sinner, but Jesus left heaven and came to this sinful world and died for our sin. In return, he wants us to give our life back to him so that we can reign with him at the end of our life. So, for everybody out there, I am appealing to them, for those that have not given their life to Jesus, to please do so. Jesus has given himself as a sacrifice. You don't need to die for your sin again. Jesus Christ has actually done that. And I think if you surrender your life and accept this special gift, uh, you can reign with him at the end of your life. I was imagining the kind of suffering, the kind of death he, he, he passed through on that day because, because through the pain I, I was receiving while we were acting, I imagine how he suffered because his own was real, you know. The thorns and the and the canes were they were all real. I was imagining he, he suffers for us a lot. So I was when I was being caned here, I was I was imagining wow, our Lord Jesus Christ died for us real. It wasn't easy. He passed through a lot. He passed pains so that we might be saved. Christ is suffering today. As we are witnessing at this hour, but by tomorrow he's risen from the dead. That means that if we can persevere and be patient, just as he taught us, Nigeria will rise again to the glory of God. <laughs>